back to the Rabbitat homestead. Um, I have a few things I need to do today. I need to breed three does, which will probably take me um, two days to do, but um, I'm gonna breed at least two of my does today. Thumper, um, Lucky, and Darling all need to be bred. And these baby rabbits right here need to be weaned today. They're eight weeks old. And as I stated in previous videos, um, these last two litters I got from Thumper and Lucky were very small. So um, I kind of gave my does a break and waited until their babies were eight weeks old to breed them. So they've had quite a bit of a break. So I'm gonna go ahead and breed them today. And hopefully this next round of babies will be much better.
right, so I was able to get Lucky and Thumper's babies weaned and put into the grow out hutch behind me. Um, so one thing that I did differently this time around was because my, since my litters were so small with Lucky only having two and Thumper only having five, typically I would divide the two litters between the two sections of the hutch between male and female. Um, but because the litters were so small, I decided just to keep the litters together. Um, I kept, I put Thumper's litter on this side and Lucky's litter on this side. Um, and that's just because they were so small. Um, and since they're the same rabbits from the same litter together, I'm not too concerned about um, dividing them between male and female because they've been together this whole time and the likelihood of them trying to breed before um, 12 weeks when we process is very low. So um, I'm gonna keep them together. Now, if I were to mix them, say I were to put Thumper and Lucky's litter in one side of the hutch, because I could do that because there's so, there's not very many of them, that would just put um, this side at seven rabbits, which is not many. Um, then those rabbits don't know each other. They're not familiar with each other. So then you will see breeding behavior um, between those two litters. Um, so that's why you don't see me putting them together um, on one side. And that's why I have them split between the two litters. Um, now in the past, um, the last set of rabbits I had that I processed, I had 16. Now, obviously I can't put um, 16 rabbits in one side I could have done eight and eight rabbits if I wanted to um, and that would have been just fine but I decided to go ahead and split them between male and female um, because I had so many um, like I said I could have just left the litters together and put eight and eight on each side um, but I typically, I like to divide them between male and female when I have those bigger litters, just to eliminate the risk of them showing those breeding behaviors. But this time around, like I said, since the litters were so small, I just decided to keep them together with their own litters um, and they should be fine until processing time. So they'll be in this grow out hutch for four weeks. Um, and then after that, they will be 12 weeks old and they'll be ready to be processed. So today I, I have two bucks and I was able to breed two of my does, um, Lucky and my new um, rabbit, Darling. So I've already tried to breed Darling once. She had two successful fall offs, but she didn't end up having babies. It just didn't take. So um, I went ahead and I bred her again. I got two fall offs from her again. Um, so we'll see what the outcome is. I also bred Lucky as well and Thumper. I'm going to try to breed her tomorrow because I can really only breed one doe to one buck um, a day and they get kind of exhausted. You know, they don't, they're domestic rabbits and they're, they live in the hutches. So um, it's quite the workout for them when they, when they breed. So they need that break. So I'm going to try again. Um, so I'm going to try again tomorrow and um, and I'll breathe Thumper tomorrow, so she'll just be a day off. All right, so as I said, Thumper's gonna get bred tomorrow. I went ahead and took her nesting box away um, and gave her a little treat there, but I'll be breeding her tomorrow. Um, she did have, my husband made um, a double water bowl container um, for my rabbits. Um, there were she did have the double one when she had her litter, but since I just weaned them, I went ahead and gave her a single one. And this just prevents her from knocking over her water easily. Um, they do like to play with their water bottles. So I'll come out here um, next time I give her water and the water will be gone and um, the bowl will probably be on the other corner of the hutch because they do like to carry them around in their mouths for some reason. But um, this is nice. Um, my husband made these and they're really nice just because, um, like I said, it helps prevent them from tipping over the water um, fairly quickly. And I did the same for 
Lucky over here, um, she's bred. I got two fall offs from her. Um, I'm very pleased with her. She is so easy to breed. She's always ready and willing. So I'm very happy with her and um, that I was able to get her bred. Um, I think I would have been able to get three, but Arlo, he was a little bit lazy. So, um, but I'm really happy with the outcome of that. So I'm excited to see um, how many babies she's gonna have. Um, and she's a really great mom, so. But yeah, she has her one water bowl now and I transferred over her double water bowl over to um, her babies in the grow out hutch. So Lucky, so Thumper's babies are adjusting well. They have plenty of space in here. They have their water bowls. Have their water bowls really nice setup here and then lucky's two babies over here are doing really well settling in and of course they have their double water bowl container as well And then Darling's bred. This is the second time I bred her. The first one didn't take, so um, I got two fall offs from her. So I'm excited to see um, how many babies she's gonna have and how she is as a mother. Um, but she's doing really well. And then I got my, my two bucks, Arlo and Earl. I gave them all romaine lettuce. So they all got a little bit of a treat today. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming along with me today. Um, I have two rabbits bred. I got one more to go. Um, probably tomorrow I'll get her bred, um, but I'll keep you up to date on my litters and how they are doing. I got my two smaller litters weaned as well, so that was nice. Um, so yeah, we're just moving a lot right along. As you can see, we got our first snow. It's not very much, but we did get some snow. All the leaves are gone and it's winter time all right guys well thanks for coming along with me today and joining me with all the chores that i had to do with my rabbits and getting them bred and weaned and all that fun stuff um but in the meantime guys i will see you in the next video and god bless